We're almost to meeting up with Jim Greer. I have never met him. I've, I've talked to him several times on the phone, and I met him through my brother Ralph. So we're pulling up on somewhere close to where his boat's going to be. Here comes Jim moving real slow and real quiet at night. Where'd you start from? Um, Newport Ritchie. Okay, I thought you were from Tampa area. I, well, that's, I mean, I that's where my friends are that have... Now, that was this time. This, this great loop starts at Newport Ritchie. Basically, we started at the Swanee River. Okay. We built a boat up on the Swanee because, because of the song, mm -hmm. and I'd always heard how beautiful the Swanee River was. I decided that I wanted to start my loop adventure on the Swanee River. So, what so I town? I built a boat there in Sheepland. Where was that roughly in, in Florida? I mean, give me a, a ballpark. I mean, the Panhandle? It just, but it's just where the state starts to turn. Okay. Right in there. That's where the Swanee comes down into the, you know, the turn. That's where mm -hmm. it comes in. But uh, I built it there and uh, I went to the boat show last year. Mm -hmm. Talked to a bunch of people trying to get some help. And, uh, it, and I understand it's probably the same, similar type of situation for the for the, the brown boys. Oh, yeah, so yeah. It's... They said, well, yeah, you know, show us your boat and we'll talk to you about it. Right. So I said, okay. So I went and built the boat. I, I go, okay, now what you're going to do? So, so we, we got the boat built and uh, the, the solar people. So now I'm getting, I got to do the show. You know, I got to get started. Mm -hmm. I was in a desperate situation. So I talked to the solar people and they, they, uh, they said, Okay, this is how we'll help you, and they helped me by letting me pay, me, you know, manufacturer's cost, you know, mm -hmm. in the same way with the batteries. And what is your name? Jessica. How did you find out about this trip? I looked on Craigslist uh, at gigs. Craigslist dot gig or something? No, you just um, when you're looking for work or whatever. The crew I, or something? Yeah, I looked for gigs, and I was actually looking for writing gigs. So you're an author? No, I just like magazines to write. and stuff. No, I just like to write. I was personal. Kind of just playing around, hmm. and uh, I ended up here today. Uh, you heard about my other? Yeah, I did. I, I did. Did you hear? Mm -hmm. I. Well, you know about the boat trip across the Atlantic, small boat and all that stuff. And I thought when I got back, somebody would find us and ask for any footage. To see what we got, but that never happened. Kind of shocked me, so I go, "Well, shoot! Looks like I'm gonna have to make this documentary myself." So I started um, making YouTube videos, learning how to. Edit. My house burned down, so I get buy a camera. Oh, the super size movie. Yeah, super size. I decided I need to do a test movie. Now that I've done like at that time maybe 500 YouTube videos, mm -hmm. I go, "Okay, now I have the basic idea down, but I want to actually, you know, make a full length something." To, to learn how to do it, then you have to learn how to market. I know nothing about any of that stuff. So, uh, ever since I used to be a manager of McDonald's 40 years ago, 35 years ago, and when they Spurlock had his thing, he's the guy that did the, the 30 days eating McDonald's and gained 24 and a half pounds. And at the time, <laughs> I well, he says that he claims that I was a manager of McDonald's back then, and I surfed all the time. I was real active, did all kinds of you know, I was always busy doing climbing mountains and doing all that kind of cool stuff. And I wasn't fat, and I ate almost everything at McDonald's for like six months to a year. I'd worked there a total of three years, and I ate there almost every day. And as a manager, I got my food for free. And um, you know what, you know, teenager or early twenty ever wants to pay for food? You know, if you get it for free, you're not going to pay. You can eat it for free. So I ate almost exclusively McDonald's, and I wasn't fat. So I go, well, shoot, let me pick on Spurlock. So I decided to do a movie on Spurlock. 